Hey guys and girls, welcome to your 14th HTML5 Canvas tutorial, which is a part of HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series by iFectner.com. And now we are going to begin a new mini series, which is images on canvas. And this mini series uh, will consist of five tutorials, and this is part one of those five part tutorials. Uh, in this uh, mini series, images on canvas by ifectner.com, we will learn to paint our images on our canvas. We will learn how can we paint our external image with the same dimensions on our canvas. We will learn how can we resize that image on our canvas and uh, we will learn how can we crop that image and cut that image and then show it on our canvas in different sizes. For that we would be using we would be making an HTML5 file and we will be using inline styles to style our canvas and then we will use internal JavaScript code to draw and paint the image on our canvas. It is not uh, recommended to use inline styles but uh, for to understand our code easily we would be using inline styles and you can use either internal style sheets or the external sh style sheets to stylize your tags and your selectors and in this case we would be using inline styles uh, to stylize our canvas and uh, uh, we would be using this logo file to draw the picture on our canvas and we would use draw image method with different dimensions to draw images on our website we would uh, use uh, three main uh, scenarios for draw image method to draw images on our web page and on number A we will use draw image and then the image source and we would be giving the X position and the Y position of our destination file of our file on our canvas to draw that image in this form so we can say that you I need to start to draw my image at 10 pixels on X axis and 10 pixels or 10 points on Y axis and these are these DX and DY positions uh, on number two, we would uh, use a little more complicated scenario, and in this scenario, we will use draw image method with dx, dy, destination x uh, axis position, destination y axis position, and we would be using, or uh, we would be. Uh, specifying our destination width and destination height of our image so we would be able to use these uh, these arguments to draw images either in smaller in size or which would be bigger than the original image and uh, in scenario number three we would be using the draw image method with
source x position source y position the width of the source and the height of the source so if I would like to cut my image from 10 pixels from x axis and 10 pixels from y axis and then I can give the width of my component or my segment and the height of the segment which I would like to extract and draw on my canvas and then I need to tell that I want the image to start at a specific X position and a specific Y position destination Y and I need to give I can resize that image if I want to with DW destination width and DH destination height so we would be able to use these dimensions to draw the part or the image with different widths and heights at different positions so in our next tutorial guys and girls we would make an HTML5 file and then we would paint the image as it appears on our page on our canvas so join me in the next tutorial take care bye bye